Back in the 1950s, a small device for inflating car and truck tires became quite popular. It was made of a small piece of pipe with a pair of one-way valves inside, and you had to put it in place of one of the car's engine's spark plugs. The pipe was divided into three sections labeled as A, B, and C here. Section A had a threaded end to match the spark plug threaded hole in the engine. Section B was a larger diameter piece of pipe with a rubber lining inside, which loosely covered some vents in the pipe and acted as a check valve, allowing air to go into the device only. Finally, Section C had a ball and spring check valve to allow air going out of the device and into the tire through a threaded fitting in a long hose. It's worth mentioning that car engines at that time had no fuel injection nor electronic ignition. Everything was much simpler back then. The device worked as follows. Once the device was installed in place of one of the engine spark plugs, and the car engine was running, obviously on the remaining pistons. Whenever the piston in that cylinder went down for the intake stroke, it created a partial vacuum. The loose rubber lining allowed air to easily go into the central section of the device and to enter through section A into the engine's cylinder. No problem with the fuel-air mixture coming from the carburetor, since the vents were a much easier path because the engine was idling and the throttle was almost closed. When the piston went up again for the compression stroke, the rubber lining was forced against the vents, so the air had to exit through the long hose connected to the C section, thereby inflating the tire. A pressure gauge was halfway the hose to monitor air pressure. You could else buy a similar device having two valves to be connected to two different cylinders, thus achieving a more uniform air outlet which could even be used for automotive paint jobs. It used to be a very nice device, but in today's cars, with their aluminum engine block, fuel injection and electronic ignition, it would be practically impossible to use these gadgets. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Ciao, Tarin.